Okay, so welcome back to CE Box Tutorial Channel. And this is our problem number one for flexural torsional buckling. Compute the compressive strength of a WT 317.5 by 120 of A992 steel. The effective length with respect to the x-axis is 7.5 meters. And so magkakaiba sila ng effective length. Okay, so sa x-axis, 7.8. The effective length with respect to the y-axis is 6.1. And the effective length with respect to z-axis is 6.1 meters. Okay. And this is our uh, T-section. Again. So, given na yung y-bar niya or the location of its centroids. Okay. Then, the properties. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, yung properties na makukuha natin for AG compared sa AG natin sa figure natin is magkaiba. Okay. Kasi yung AG na to is galing mismo sa table. Okay. Then TW is 17, TF is 30, IX is 121.96 times 10 raised to 6, and IY is 91.987 times 10 raised to 6. So, solve natin yung RX and RY. Madali lang naman isolve yan, hindi ba? So, uh, I over area, ang area natin is 15,420. So, calc 121.96 times 10 raised to 6. So, this is 88.934 millimeters. And then, okay, calc 91.987 times 10 raised to 6. So, 77.236 millimeters. Yan. Okay. Let's sabi ko nga sa inyo sa introduction ng ating ano, last topic for chapter 4 is kailangan natin makompute yung ating uh, strength in terms of flexural buckling and flexural torsional buckling. Okay? So number 1, dun muna tayo sa flexural buckling. Ah uh, yes, kung i-check nyo rin po pala yung ano, local stability ng ating mga uh, elements sa ating member, Mali-check nyo po dyan na mag less than po tayo sa, ano, sa lahat ng limit natin. So, ibig sabihin, non-slender element yung meron sa ating member. Okay? So, ibig sabihin din natin kailangan pang uh, i-check yung local stability niya. Okay? So, undergo ka tayo sa global buckling. So, flexural buckling and flexural torsional buckling. Okay? So, dito, PN is equivalent to FCR multiplied by AG. So, solve natin yung KL over, uh, ano, um, yes, KL over R. Pero, ang gagamitan na na R dito is yung Rx. Kasi, yung Rx na, uh, yung x-axis natin is yung no, ano, uh, no axis of symmetry. Ayan, yung ating, ipakita natin ha. Ito yung ating y-axis and ito yung ating x-axis. So, yung ating x-axis is the axis of no symmetry. Okay, no axis of symmetry. So, dyan natin kukunin yung ano niya, yung kanyang KL over R. Okay? Or yung strength niya sa flexural buckling. Okay? Kasi, um, di ba, sa metal flexural torsional buckling, di ba? Sa x-axis kasi, mag-buckle yan. Di ba? Uh, kung i-drawing natin yan, nakaharap tayo sa y-axis, no? Okay? Kung nakaharap tayo sa y-axis, ganito yan. Diba? Okay. Then, ah, sorry. Sa x-axis pala tayo dapat nakaharap. Okay. So, so kung x-axis tayo, pag ganito yan. Ayan. Okay. So, ito yung ating y. Then, ito yung ating x-axis. So, yung buckling ng ating x-axis is pag ganito. Tama ba? So, kung gabagal siya ng ganito, so, uh, ang buckling na to is flexural buckling. So, dyan natin kukunin yung ating uh, strength sa flexural buckling. So, K natin, 1.0, uh, pin end naman niya, no? Then, L natin is 7.8. Okay, so, 1.0 multiplied by 7.8 times 10 raised to 3 over Rx. Ang Rx natin is 88. 0.934 Okay, so KL over RX is equivalent to 
Okay, 7.8 times 10 raised to 3 over 88.934. So, 87.705. And less than to sa 200. So, okay tayo. Hindi tayo magpa sa ano, limit na 200. Then, check natin yung sa 4.71 square root of E over FY. Okay, A992. So, ang ating FY is 300, okay, 45 mega pascal. Okay, so ilan dito? Okay, so this is 4.71 square root of 200 giga pascal over 345. So, 113.403. So, 113.403. Okay. So, less than ulit tayo. Okay. So, greater than yung ating 4.71 square root of E over FY sa ating KL over RX. So, since less than tong ating ano, effective slenderness ratio, then yung ating FCR is equivalent to 0.658 is to FY over FE multiplied by FY. So, solve natin yung FE. FE is equivalent to pi squared E over okay, KL over R. X squared. Okay? Okay, so this is pi squared multiplied by E 200 times 10 raised to 3 over KL over R, 87.705 squared. So, 256.614. So, 256. Check natin, ha? Okay, so, tama naman. So, 614. Mega Pascal. Busog lang natin. Ayan. So, makukuha natin ngayon ng FCR. Ang ating FCR is 0.658 raised to FY, which is 345 over 256.14 multiplied by FY. Okay, so 196.33. Okay, or 329. Mega Pascal. So, masasob na natin yung ating nominal strength. Okay. Ang pinapakumpute is compressive strength. So, wala naman siya sinabing design or allowable strength. So, therefore, ang pinapahanap lang is nominal strength. Anyway, mabilis lang namang masolve yung design and allowable strength. So, 196.328 multiplied by area gross 15420 then divided by 1000 para maging kilo newton. So, 3027.38. Kilo, Newton. So, i-shade muna natin to. Ito yung magiging 1, ano natin, uh, PN sub 1. Ayan. Okay. Then, number 2, check natin sa flexural torsional buckling. So, syempre, hindi natin memorize yung ano, yung formula. Okay. So, tingnan natin sa, ano, sa code natin. Okay? Ayan. So, for T-shape tayo. Okay? So, ito yung mag equation natin. So, memorize Okay? So, FR, okay. Copy ko na lang. Okay? Mahirap, ano to, i-memorize. Okay? Copy lang ito. Ayan. Okay? So, uh, yung ating FCR is equivalent to FCRY plus FCRZ over 2H multiplied by 1 minus, okay, square root of 1 minus 4 FCRY multiplied by F CRZ multiplied by H over, okay, FCRY plus FCRZ squared. Okay, yan. Then, nasabi rito, yung ating FCR is saan magagaling? Okay, so, tanggalin na natin to. 
Yung ating FCR is... Ayan. Magagaling sa ating equation, 505.3-2 or 505.3-3. Okay. So, dito, no? Ayan. So, kailangan natin, ano, kunin yung FCRY. Okay. Then, meron naman tayong FCRZ. Okay. So, kunin natin yung KL over RY. Okay. So, KL over RY. Ano ba yung L natin? Ang L natin is 6.1. Okay. Sa Y-axis yan, ha? Okay. Uh, take note lang ulit, no? Huwag nyo kakalimutan. Itong FCRY na to is the uh, critical buckling stress with respect to the axis of symmetry. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, pwede itong maging FCRX. Kung ang ating axis of symmetry is X. Okay, so, lagi nyo i-take note dyan. O, so, dito naman natin problema. Ang ating axis of symmetry is yung Y. Okay? Kasi, mas possible, mamaya, yung orientation ng ating T is naka, naka ganyan. Hindi ba? So, magbabago yung ating axis of symmetry. So, magiging FCRX yun. Okay? So, dito, yung ating LY is 6.1 times 10 raised to 3 over RY is 77.236. So, 78.979. So, 78. 78 to 79. Okay. So, 78.979. Okay. And then, same pa rin naman dito. Okay. Doon sa ating 4.71. Okay. So, ito ay less than sa 4.71 square root of E over Fy. So, mangyari, yung ating FCR, Y is equivalent to 0.658 raised to FY over FE. Okay, multiplied by FY. Okay? Pero, syempre, iba yung ating FE, hindi ito. Okay? Kasi yung FE na to is nanggaling sa KL over RX. Okay? So, yung ating FE nyan is pi squared E over KL over RY squared. Ayan. Okay? So, pi squared multiplied by E over KL over R is RY squared, which is 78.979. 979 squared. So, 316.451. So, 316.451 mega pascal. So, masasolve natin yung FCRY. So, 0.658 raised to, okay, uh, FY, 345 over 316.451 multiplied by FY. So, 218 point, okay, 598, 218, 0.598 mega Pascal. So, meron tayong FY. Uh, CRY. So, ang gawin natin, ano, uh, store natin sa ano to, sa A. Yan. So, lagay natin dito, ha. Yung ating FCRY is yung ating alpha A. Then, compute naman natin yung ating FCRZ. So, meron tayong equation for FCRZ. That is GJ over AG. Okay, multiplied by R bar sub O squared. Tama ba? Okay. So, mar meron tayong G. Kasi still to, di ba? So, kung still yan, yung ating G is 77.2 gigapascal. Hindi ba? Okay, so solve natin yung uh, okay, yung ating uh, R bar sub O squared. Ano bang equation nun? Ito siya. Okay. Copy natin to. Yan. So, yung ating ano, R bar sub O squared is equivalent to X sub O squared plus Y sub O squared plus IX plus IY over AG. Okay? So, kailangan natin makuha yung ano, yung ating uh, X sub O. 
Okay? Nasabi ko nga kanina sa introduction, yung ating shear center kasi is andun sa intersection ng center line ng ating web and flange. Yan. So, andito yung ating shear center. Okay. So, ngayon, um, ito yung ating y sub o. Then, yung ating x sub o is 0. Ah, okay. Ito yung tinutukos sa code kanina. Kapag t, yung ating x sub o is 0. Kasi yung um, distance ng ating centroids with respect to shear center, okay, uh, sa x-axis is 0. Pero sa y sub o is meron. Okay. So, Pusog natin. Yung ating x sub o is equivalent to 0. Samantalang ating uh, y sub o. Ang y sub o natin is uh, y bar. Okay? Minus kalahati ng 30. Hindi ba? Then. Ang y bar natin is 67.47. Nandun sa figure yun. Okay? Pakita lang natin. Yan. So, andito sa figure, 67.47. Okay? So, minus 30 over 2. So, kalahati ng 30 in thickness. So, 52.47. Okay? So, this is millimeters. So, makukuha natin yung ating R sub O. Okay? Uh, R bar sub O squared. So, 0 squared plus 52.47 squared plus IX. IX natin is 121.96. Okay, times 10 raised to 6 plus IY, 91.987 times 10 raised to 6 over, ano nakalagay doon? Okay, AG. Okay, ang um, AG natin is 15.420. Yan. So, 16627. So, 16627.74. And that is millimeter squared. Okay? Then, yung J, wala tayo sa properties, no? Pero, dapat kasama yung ating J. Okay? So, search na lang natin kung ano yung ano. Yung uh, corresponding value ng ating uh, torsional constant na J. Okay? Ito yung ating J is equivalent to 3.84 times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the fourth. So, meron tayong J, meron tayong ano, uh, R bar sub O. Okay? Ano pa ba sa equation ang kailangan natin? Okay, kailangan rin natin pala ng H. Okay? So, kailangan natin isolve ng H. Ang H is equivalent to 1 minus x sub o squared plus, okay, so, 1 minus x sub o squared plus y sub o squared over r bar sub o squared. So, natin to. So, 1 minus 0 plus 52 point, okay, 47 squared over, ang ating r bar sub o squared is, Okay, ito na ito mismo ha. Hindi nyo na kailangan i-square to kasi ito na mismo yung value niya. So, 1667, 1667, point 74. So, point 83. Okay, point 83 yung ating uh, H. Okay, so meron na tayong uh, FCRZ. So, 72.2 times 10 raised to 3 for megapascal. Ang J natin is 3.84 times 10 raised to 6 over area 15.420 multiplied by R bar sub O squared, which is 16627.74. 1156.19. 1156.19. Mega Pascal. So, masasob na natin yung FCR natin. Okay, yung FCRZ natin, uh, 
Pag ito? Uh, store natin sa B. Ang haba ng solution dito, no? Yan. FCRY is alpha A plus FCRZ is B then 2H 0.83 then multiplied by 1 minus square root of 1 minus or FCRY B uh, that is A FCRZ that is B multiplied by H which is 0.83 then over FCR that is A plus B squared okay Ayan. So, 210.622. So, 200. Oops. 210.622. And this is Mega Pascal. So, therefore, yung ating PN is equivalent to 210.622 multiplied by AG. AG natin is 15.420. Then, divided by 1,000 para maging kilo newton. So, 3247.79. So, 3247.79. Okay, this is kilo newton. So, shade natin. And this is our PN sub 2. Okay? So, meron na tayong dalawang strength. So, flexural buckling and flexural torsional buckling. So, yung ating uh, strength sa flexural is 3027. Sa so, flexural torsional is 3,247. Okay, so ang mag-govern dito na failure is sa flexural buckling. Therefore, yung ating P and max is equivalent to 3027 0.38 kilo newton. Okay, so, ganyan mag-investigate ng isang member or compression member under sa flexural and flexural Torsional buckling. Medyo marami nga lang talaga tayong sinold dito sa ano eh. Flexural torsional buckling. Anyway, kahit naman marami siyang ano, uh, kailangan isold. Okay, uh, mabilis lang naman din siyang sundin. Okay, or sundan. According to our uh, code. Okay, ayan. Dito sa code natin. Okay? Ano pa ba yung nakalimutan natin dito? Okay, so ibig sabihin, ano, mas malakas yung possibility na mag-fail talaga yung ating uh, T-shape dito sa problem na to sa kanyang flexural buckling. So, hindi siya mag-twist. Okay? Or, yes, hindi siya mag-twist ng pag ganito. mag lang siya. Okay? Or mag, uh, mag bend lang siya. Okay? So, this is our problem number one for flexural torsional buckling. So, thank you for watching. Bye!